right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So I'm reshooting this video because I totally messed something up and I just wanted to redo it. So I don't want to take apart everything that I've done. I'm just going to explain it. Um, so this is how to wire multiple half hot switches um, or how to wire multiple plugs on a half hot switch. So we still have our single switch right here, one switch, and we have our um, three wire coming down the wall still. Um, but I went ahead and added in a second plug. As you can see, I just skipped the wall here real quick to save some time. Um, so I went ahead and added in the second wire over to this second box. And I'm just pretending that this is a single gang box because I don't have any more single gang boxes at the moment. Um, and I didn't want to nail another one on because it makes it harder to take off later. So anyways, I added this second plug over here. Same exact process. Um, and I haven't really gone over this process before. Um, so, um, actually no, I have. So how to wire multiple plugs. If you haven't seen that video, it's a while, a ways back, but, um, basically you just tie all your, um, wires together. So I added the second wire right here and I just tied the two wires together with a pigtail for the grounds, two wires together with a pigtail for the neutral, two wires together, um, and a pigtail for the, uh, red, and then, uh, the two wires together and the pigtail for the hot. Um, and I went ahead and took off the second um, plugs um, tab right here as well for the half hot. Um, and then basically just keep them all the same, ground to ground, neutral to neutral. And then keeping the half hots the same, red on top and then black on bottom. Um, if you need to put red reds on bottom, then keep both reds on bottom and vice versa. Um, in this case, I'm doing both reds on top. Um, so basically that's as much as you need to know. Um, you can do two of these, you can do a hundred of these um, on the same switch. Obviously you probably don't want a hundred and you're not gonna have a hundred in a single room or anything like that. But um, it's pretty common to see like six of these together in a room or whatnot, or four of these together in a room. Um, if your contractor is really cheap and you're not putting in any ceiling lights, you're gonna see this application where there's gonna be multiple half hot switches around the room so they don't have to buy another light and have that installed in the ceiling. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this together and then show you what this looks like. Originally, um, I was going to make this video um, about something else, but I forgot the other step and this step needs to be explained first anyways. Um, um, so there's another video that I do want to make and that is going to be how to have multiple half hots um, with separate disconnect switches or di different switches. So without ruining that video too much, I will lightly explain that here in a second. Um, but once I, after I get this installed here really quickly. So the original video was 13 minutes. I didn't want to bore you with that install process of 13 minutes of wiring all this in. So hopefully this saves you some time. Basically just tie the wires together um, and then it's gonna be the same exact um, application just mirrored because you tied the wires together exactly color for color. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in right here real quick into the power and then still have our switch. So that didn't blow up, so that's good. So red is still on top for the switch. And then same thing over here, um, switched on top. And then your constant power is always on, on the bottom. So that's what that looks like. And it's uh, like, I was gonna say this in the other video, but um, it's nice if you have like a bed or something in between and you have these as a nightstand and you want both of the lights coming on at the same time or whatnot. But there is another process that I wanted to go over and that will be a separate video. Um, and that will be how to have a single switch right here and then two separate boxes and then um, two half hots below. So I've done this one time before at my parents' house. And basically like if you walk into your bedroom, you wanna turn on the lights, but you also want um, if each person, um, husband and wife or whatnot, wants to have um, their own bedroom light turned on at the same, at different times, then you can have 
you can wire in two separate switches right here. And like if I wanted to turn on this plug right now, or if I want to turn on this plug and leave this one off, then I could do that with two separate switches. Um, and it's a pretty cool application, so I want to show you guys that eventually. Um, so, yeah. So, look, look forward to that. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you out. It's a little bit shorter and a little bit quicker than I would have liked to do. But hopefully um, it gets the point across to you guys. So, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I would appreciate it. As always, um, thank you so much for the support. And don't forget to check the description down below for anything else, um, especially the first link down below. The link tree is going to pretty much have everything you need to know as far as my show's social media, second YouTube channel, all that good stuff. And then hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thank you guys so much for the support. Big giveaway at 10,000 coming up soon. Can't wait to um, do that one. And then um, hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. God bless. See you in the next video. Peace out.